सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एसिड एंड बेसिस इन ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री बेसिकली सो इफ वे टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑर्गेनिक एंड ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन एंड बेसिकली एसिड एंड बेस रिएक्शन सो वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट कंसिडर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स लाइक वट आर एसिड्स वट आर बेसिस इन सॉलवेंट वट आर एसिड एंड इन सॉलवेंट वट आर बेसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल स्टडी अबाउट एसिड्स एसिड्स वट आर एसिड्स दैट इन द solvent how a compound is called to be an acid and a base it's a very basic thing but we are just revising a higher school concept so that we can apply that in the reaction mechanism part specifically so now come to this point in this particular topic acid and bases we should know that acid so what acids are so acids are the substances that contain one or more hydrogen because acids usually donate hydrogen ions because acid are those substances that contain one or more hydrogen atoms then in solution are released as a positively charged hydrogen ions and acid in a water solution stays source because acid stays source and it usually changes the colors from blue litmus to red i have already told you that we are just revising the higher school concepts of acid and bases so that we will revise the things and we can able to understand the more advanced topics so if i'm talking about the the color of the blue litmus turns to red in and when the acid in the water solution stays sore so blue litmus turns to red and acid usually reacts with some metal for example iron which will be symbolized by fe to liberate the hydrogen gas it sometimes reacts with some bases to form the salts for more the chemical reaction that is acid base catalysis that is the acid catalysis reaction base catalysis reaction so what the bases are So if I'm talking about the bases, so bases are those substances that have a bittering taste, which turns the red litmus to blue, which turns the red litmus to blue, and those bases usually react with acid. When there is an acid-base reaction, when the bases react with acid, there is a salt formation. So it's a salt neutralization reaction that usually takes place. Bases usually accept hydrogen ions, and acid usually donates H plus. Usually, most of the times, for example, if I'm talking even specifically for organic chemistry, this acetic acid is an acid. Which donates H plus, and we are going to get CH three COO negative. So we are getting the hydrogen ion. If I am talking about base, so what the base does? For example, sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a base. It does like if we have H plus in the solution, then it will forms H two O with salt. Any salt can be formed. It depends on the cation that is available in the solvent medium. Cation or anion that is available in the solvent medium. So, if we are talking about acid and bases, so there are normal neutralization reaction that we should know. Now, acid and bases are assigned a value of zero to fourteen on the pH value. We all know that on the pH scale, acids are having the lowest pH value and the bases are having the highest pH value. For example, if the pH value is nearly one, it means the solution is very much acidic, and the pH value of the solution is fourteen, it means that the solution is Basic in nature, and the pure water, pure water whose pH is around seven, pure water whose pH is around seven, a solution with a pH less than seven is considered acidic, and the solution with the pH greater than seven is considered as basic. So these are those conce concepts of the higher schools that I'm going to revise. So I am going to these points very quickly because these are very general and the basic concepts. So if I'm talking about the strong acids, the higher the concentration of hydrogen ions, they assign the value closer to the zero because more the Plus ions concentration, more the value of the pH is nearer to the zero. If I'm talking about the stronger bases, so stronger bases usually have the higher concentration of the hydroxide ion, and they are assigned value closer to the fourteen. So the pH, if the pH is closer to the fourteen, it means that the concentration, it means that the concentration of hydroxide ions are usually higher than normal. So weaker acids in the base are usually having the pH near to seven. Then as compared to the stronger counterparts, it's a very basic thing. So in the acid base and reaction what the type of the chemical reaction that involves the exchange of one or more hydrogen ions takes place because h plus between the species that may be neutral for example water or electrically electrically charged for example ammonium nh4 plus hydroxide etc so there is the exchange of so there is the exchange of h plus between acid and base so that the basically acid base reaction it includes a similar process that occur in the molecule And ions that are acidic but not donate hydrogen ions that are somewhat similar to that case. So now, 
Consider this. So these are the example of acid. So these are the example of acid, and these are the example of the bases. So these are the conjugate acid base pair. If we have acid, if we have acetic acid, for example, CH three COOH. So we have acetic acid. If H plus is donated from this particular molecule, that is from the acetic acid. If H plus is removed, then we left with CH three COO negative. That is the acetate ion. So acetate ion is the base, and acetic acid is an acid. So we have the conjugate base. Each every acid have a conjugate base. So that is known as the conjugate acid base pairs basically. So each acid usually have a conjugate base. So each acid base pairs are depicted in this table. For example, HSO four minus we have SO four two minus. So you just have to remove H plus. So if we are going from this to this, we have to remove the H plus. If we are going from Acid to base, we just have to remove the H plus ions. Ammonium ion, it will come converted into ammonia. For ammonia, it will come and converted into the amide ion. For water, it is converted into the hydroxides. And for oxonium ion, it is converted into water. So this is the very basic acid base pairs. Now. Come to few reactions. So as you get familiar with the reactions, you will able to solve the question. You will become familiar with the questions in the exam, basically. 